The movie begins and we see that our character Catherine is saying that life is very unpredictable. No one knows what will be the next turn. She talks about her life and her family. She says before their family was perfect then after an incident it became very dangerous and critical. And the story begins. We see Catherine and her family, which consists of an elder brother whose name is Christopher. She has a little brother and a sister who are twins. Her mother's name is Corin and her father's name is also Christopher. Her father normally stays away them due to his work. In this scene we see her father has arrived after many days. And everyone is very happy after seeing him. He has brought many gifts for everyone and for Corin he has brought an expensive necklace. After this he starts playing with the kids in the garden. Catherine talks to her father and requests him not to go and stay away so far from them. She misses him a lot. While she is talking she realizes that everyone is very busy and no one is listening to her. Just when she could say something else, her mother comes outside very nicely dressed and decked up. Corin is very exited as Christopher got promotion. And now he will be much busier. This makes Catherine very upset and she goes to her room. Her father comes to her to console her and gives her a very beautiful and expensive necklace. He tells her that whatever he is doing, is all for them, for their family. In the next scene we see Catherine and her family is celebrating someone's birthday but her father has not arrived yet, he is late. Then they hear a knock on the door, a police officer has arrived. He informs them that Christopher got into an accident and he is dead. Everyone becomes very shocked. The twins miss him a lot. Corin becomes very disturbed after this. She is left with no money. Catherine asks her that are they going to be okay after this. So in response she says that she has no skills, no talents. Just because she was pretty Christopher married her. And she also says her that she is trying to find a way. As they don't have money Catherine has to leave her ballet school. Corin then posts multiple letters and after some days, she also get replies. Then she tells all her kids that from now onwards they all are going to stay at her parents' house. The kids are shocked as they have never heard about her mother's parents. Corin says that back then she eloped and got married, against her parents' will, so her parents are mad at her. But now she is planning to go there to sort things out and will ask for forgiveness. The kids are very confused as they have to leave everything behind and go to a different place. Corin promises them that she will buy them more things than they have right now, as her parents are very rich. They were not able to repay the loan so in no time the bank will seize everything. In the next scene we see they all have arrived at the city. But no one is here to pick them. It is already getting dark so they start walking. Finally, they reach Corin's house. Her mother's name is Olivia. Olivia opens the door and sarcastically comments on their arrival. Since childhood Olivia has always hated Corin because she was closer to her father. Olivia then gives them a room to stay in the upstairs so that Corin's father can't see them. Corin doesn't want to inform anything to her father till he forgives her. So the fact that the kids are staying here is a secret. Corin then consoles her kids and tells them that her father is very old and he can die anytime. She also says that once he accepts her then they can become a millionaire and they don't have to live like this. Corin then says that she can't stay with the kids whole day, once a while she will come to visit them. In the next morning Olivia brings food for the kids and says that they have to eat this for the whole day. She also says that she won't be able to meet them today and making noise is strictly prohibited. Moreover she says the twins can play in the attic upstairs, and a boy and a girl can't use the washroom together. Finally, she says that if their grandfather gets to know about them then it won't result in a good way. Then the kids go upstairs in the attic. After seeing the attic, the twins don't like the place to play around. But they have no other option, so to make the attic more interesting Catherine and Christopher make a swing for them. At night Corin comes to visit them. As soon as she enters, the twins start complaining that they don't want to stay here, they want to go back as they are getting very bored. Corin tries to make them understand that they should start listening to their sister and brother. But the twins don't listen and start making noise. After hearing the noise Olivia comes inside the room and slaps one twin. Then she says that things can't go around like this in here. Corin becomes very mad at her. Then she says that she can't touch her kids or else she will go from there. Olivia replies that she can go from here if she wants as this is her place and everything will happen according to what she says. She asks her to open her shirt. Actually she hit her and punished her as she came back after so many years. Olivia wants the kids to see the red marks on her back. The kids become terrified after seeing that. Then she tells the kids that they are all devil's children. And Catherine notices that this statement sounds really weird. She wonders what does this means. Corin then says that when she was a little kid, her mother used to beat her a lot. That's why she was very close to her father. And her mother could never stand this, she always used to complain about her to her father behind her back. Slowly her father also got busy in his work so she began to feel lonely. During that time her dad's half-brother came to stay with them as his mother passed away. He was basically Corin's uncle. He was a very handsome and kind-hearted man. Corin and that man fell for each other. So they eloped and got married and that man was none other than Christopher. That's why Corin's family is mad at her. Her father also disowned her and Olivia also told her that if she ever has kids they will be abnormal but nothing like this happened. In the next scene we see Christopher and twins are painting a garden in the attic. Olivia comes there and asks Catherine what's going on upstairs. 
So Catherine replies that Christopher is painting. He paints really well. Hearing this Olivia asks her that did he ever painted her? Or did he ever ask her to undress herself? Catherine becomes very confused after hearing all this. Actually, Olivia thinks that just like Corin and her uncle, Catherine and her brother Christopher might end up fall for each other and will be in a relationship. Now we see after some days Corin comes to visit the kids. She says that she had to spend her days with her father. She went for sailing and then she had picnic with him as well. Catherine becomes mad at her. She tells her that it's been one month she didn't came to visit them once. She suggests that Corin should convince her father soon as they all want to go out. Further she says that they are not that bad, that Corin's father will not accept his grandchildren. Corin then says the truth that her father has accepted her in one condition that she doesn't have any child. So now she can't say anything to her dad. He is an old man and now they only have to wait for him to die. Catherine is very upset so Christopher makes her understand that this time will pass and everything will be alright. Just then their twin sister comes to them and says that the other twin Cory is lost. She can't find him. The search for him everywhere and find out that while playing hide and seek, he hid inside the box and became senseless. Catherine immediately puts him in the tub with hot water and rubs his back. She takes care of him. No one is there to help them. Slowly time passes by and now it's Christmas Eve. Catherine positively says that they should make something for Olivia and gift her. After receiving the gift Olivia just sees it once and leaves it there only. When Corin comes to meet the kids, she brings many gifts for them. As the kids miss the outside world, so she brings a TV for them as well. She gifts Catherine a very beautiful dress. But Catherine then asks her that where will they go after wearing this beautiful dress. And moreover they don't want to hide like this anymore. Then both Catherine and Christopher insist Corin to let them come at the Christmas Eve party at their place. Corin also agrees to that. She brings them to the party and hides them in the liquor cabinet so that they can just watch the party and enjoy it from there. After some time Olivia comes there to take out a bottle but then she didn't. If she opened the cabinet then she would have caught the kids. In the party we see Corin's dad for the first time. He is a very old man. He is very happy as Corin came back to the family. He gifts her a very expensive necklace. After the party is over the kids were about to leave but just then they see Corin with a man. They overhears them talking. The man is saying that he can't wait to start a new life with her. He wants to take Corin away from here. Catherine doesn't likes this but Christopher says her that Corin is going to be rich and so she has many admirers. Corin goes to her room but Christopher takes this advantage and starts roaming around everywhere. When Corin comes to know about this, she becomes very angry. Then when Christopher arrives at his room, Corin slaps him. In the next morning she comes to visit them and apologizes to him. Christopher asks her about that man from last night. Corin tells him that he is her father's lawyer and she needs him as she is very close to her destination. She is feeling extremely guilty for last night so she says that they don't have to stay like this. What else will happen if they don't have money, they will adjust anywhere. Hearing all this the kids console her by saying that they can live like this and she don't have to worry about anything. Actually, Corin is manipulating them. She is very greedy, so she can never leave all this luxury. One day Catherine caught Christopher reading women's magazine. He hides it immediately seeing her. Later Catherine asks Corin about this. She says that as now they are getting old, there will be some changes in them. She then gives Catherine a very beautiful dress. While trying the dress Christopher sees her. The situation becomes awkward. And just then Olivia arrives there and thinks that they might have something between them. She is very mad at Catherine so she wants to punish her by cutting all her hair. Christopher stops her. At night Olivia pours tar on Catherine's hair. Christopher and Catherine both try hard to get it off in the morning but they are not able to do so. Catherine tells him that it was not his fault, he was just watching her. Christopher stands behind her and says that now he is very close to her and he always thinks about other girls. He thinks she is very beautiful but he doesn't want to think like that. There is no other way to get the tar out of her hair so they decide to cut it. One day when Catherine is practicing her dance Christopher starts to disturb her and mess around with her. When they both realize this is wrong, they immediately get separated. Nowadays the twins don't even want to go out. Catherine and Christopher ask them to come at the window and go out but they refuse to go. It's been two years now they are still here hiding. Christopher and Catherine also want to go out now. They use a rope and climbs down the wall with the help of it. Then they go to a nearby lake. They start discussing about Corin. Now they wonder that whether Corin will do something for them or not. They don't believe her anymore. Then one day Corin comes to visit them. It's been five months since she last visited them. She informs them that now she is married and she went for her honeymoon that's why she wasn't able to come and visit them. Then Christopher says that it's been two years and they are still here, they are growing up here only, they want to go out now they can't stay here anymore. Catherine then asks her that does her husband knows about them? Corin doesn't replies her question and leaves from there. After some time, Olivia brings in some sweets for the kids which were actually sent by Corin. Seeing the donuts everyone becomes very happy. Catherine then tells Christopher that now it's high time they should get out from here. They should not rely on how much money they will get, they can't live like this anymore. Then Christopher replies that they will need at least some amount of money to go away from here. 
Olivia notices from the garden that Christopher is standing near the window and scolds him. She never pronounces his name. And when he realizes that he says that he has a name same as his father, which is Christopher. This annoyed Olivia a lot and she beats him with a whip. Catherine sees the marks on his back and takes care of him. They get very close to each other and they kissed. Next day Olivia notices that they are standing very close to each other. Seeing that, she asks them what are they doing. Christopher all of a sudden start crying and falls on her feet. Then he asks for forgiveness to Olivia and says that he has done a terrible mistake. Olivia believes on God so she says that only God can forgive her. Catherine becomes very confused and asks him what he is doing. He starts laughing and says that he has already taken a print of the keys and now they can go out from here anytime. After this they start to steal money little by little every now and then. They know it will take them a lot of time to collect the money and to go out from here but they have no other option. One night Catherine is roaming around the house when she sees Corin's husband who is drunk and asleep. She is curious so she kisses him and she goes to her room after taking the money. While roaming around the house Christopher realizes that they have put electric fence on the gate. It was newly done. Eventually he founds out the switch of the electric fence. While roaming he sees Corin and her husband are taking. He overhears him saying that he dreamt of a little girl who looks just like Corin and he dreamt that she kissed him. Christopher understands that it was none other than Catherine and he becomes very mad at her. While arguing they get very close to each other and gets intimated. After that Catherine says that if he wants then they can stop all this. But Christopher tells her that he really likes her. One day one of the twins becomes very ill. They inform this to Corin but then also she doesn't want to take him to the hospital. Catherine becomes very angry starts blaming Corin and says a lot of things to her. Corin slaps her and finally she agrees to take the twin to the hospital. Next morning Corin comes to visit them again and informs them that the twin is dead. She says that they tried a lot but as he was very ill, he couldn't make it. They all become very disheartened after this. Catherine and Christopher then decide that they will not stay here any longer. They will steal all the jewelries and money at night and they will run away from there. At night while stealing they overhears the maids talking among themselves. They are also stealing. One of them says that after the death of Corin's father they are dismissing everyone from work, so they should take as much they can. Here Christopher comes to know that Corin's father died six months ago. Corin loves her new life that's why she hasn't told her husband about the kids. She has planned to keep the kids in the attic forever. When Christopher comes upstairs, he sees that their little sister is ill. Catherine shows him a dead mouse, which was fed by their little sister. She gave her donut to that mouse that day and the mouse died. That means the donuts that Corin sent them were poisonous and maybe that's why their little brother died. In the meantime Olivia comes there and overhears them talking. She starts beating Christopher, just then he takes her whip from her and grabs her. He says everyone to go to the attic as he knows Olivia is scared of going to the attic. So, he takes her to the attic as well and locks the door. They then climb down the window to escape from there. While escaping a servant notices them. Christopher requests him to let them go. He also tells them that Corin is their mother. He understands what was going on here, so he lets them go and switches off the electric connection of the fence. Finally, the kids escape from there. In the end of the scene Catherine says to the audience that they will never go back to that house but they will meet their mother one day. Whatever she and Christopher has between them will be a reason for Corin's shame and this will be her punishment. Catherine is actually taking revenge from her mother by being with Christopher and the movie ends here.